Out to Granby to continue our storm coverage. It's one of the hardest hit towns as by Mother Nature, and they're seeing, as Mark was saying, more than 12 inches of snow in that area. And neighboring North Granby received 18 inches. Channel 3's Courtney Zeller is joining us live from Granby as people are now digging out today. Hi, Courtney. <laughs> Hi, Kara. Mark was just talking about the wind, and here it is. <laughs> All of a sudden, just picked up maybe in the last half hour or so because we've been out here since, I don't know, about 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning, and it really wasn't bad. But again, that wind is start starting to pick up here in Granbury. So, yes, we uh, headed into a few neighborhoods uh, today as they are seeing a good amount of snow uh, in this area. Let's go to that video now because these snow blowers are working overtime. Our cameras uh, caught homeowners digging out. By the way, Granby Public schools are closed today and they were also closed yesterday but you know this was a welcome sight for many families they tell us winter bring it on i personally love the snow i love to i was just hiking in it mm -hmm. um that's what i like to do i find if you just get out in it enjoy it and don't fight it mm -hmm. you're better off I'm not a huge fan of driving in the snow but everything else snowmen and sledding and all that's wonderful and Granby Public Works crews have been working around the clock. Roads are passable here in Granby, but now crews are doing something a little different. We're going to tell you about their cleanup process starting on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. For now, we're live in Granby. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.